Welcome back. We need to find a way into the old memory chamber because I suspect that that's where Sirius and Akinar are, or at least Sirius, and probably also where Yisha is. Fortunately, the front door was locked, so we're gonna have to find another way in. This looks like the old harvester, where uh, Miss Bad Actress wanted to get uh, parts from. I don't know if she's done that yet. I think she's called Yanin, actually, I'm not sure. What do you mean? She's not actually called Bad Actress? No. Anyway. Um, there's some controls here. Something appears to happen, but it's not clear what. This control raises the harvester. Certainly doesn't look like uh, she's gotten any uh, spare parts yet. Let's try the other lever again. Ah, that opens the door. So I guess the door was open while it was underwater and we closed it, trapping the water inside. Akinar said they were working underwater, using that to find a back entrance into the old memory chamber. Could this be what he was talking about? Let's see what we can find out by using the uh, harvester. Pretty fortunate that it's still in working condition, considering that it hasn't been used for more than 20 years. If it was already the old harvester um, of the old memory chamber back when they were originally planning to uh, capture Atris here. Okay, well, we can actually pull this, and it takes us underwater. This is where they harvest the memory globes. I'm guessing that these things are controls for uh, external arms or something that they can manipulate to uh, actually retrieve the memory orbs. But it doesn't look like we can uh, go outside. That's probably a good thing. Let's go back up. Hey, what's that? It looks like there's a door or something similar under the water. Perhaps the back entrance that we were looking for. So, it seems that um, we're going to have to find a way to get underwater here. Fortunately, I did not bring an aqualung. So, I can't just go there and check it out. I guess I could, in real life, would probably uh, try to swim down anyway, but... That wouldn't actually help in this case. Just trust me, for what we're gonna need to do down there, you're not gonna be able to hold your breath that long. Unless you're 
an Olympic class uh, swimmer, and even then, probably not. So, we probably need to get uh, the water out of this pool. And that's what all of those controls are for. We saw that we can drain some water out of the pool by trapping it inside the, um, the old harvester. But that doesn't actually accomplish anything right now because the pool is constantly getting fed new water by these streams. So we're going to have to cut off the streams to uh, be able to get in here. And I'm going to bet that the reason that Cirrus destroyed that one uh, water control is probably to prevent people from doing just that. So hopefully he won't have made it impossible. Otherwise, we'll be stuck. Of course, that means we need to figure out um, how to uh, how to shut off the flow to these streams that flow into the uh, pool. Which means we need to figure out exactly how the water flows. Which is why I said earlier that it helps to draw a map of the waterways. But that is quite complicated because you can't always see exactly where they're going. that we can't knock on the door or something. Um, there is, however, something that will help us figure out the, the water flows, which we haven't seen yet. But we'll see it momentarily. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we're on the other side of the uh, bridge. This is where Aknar was standing when we saw him last time we were in Serenia. And that's the control that had the snake wrapped around it. Are those blimps? Or... <laughs> I don't know. They look like blimps. And uh, Agnar was climbing up from here, carrying that thing, which was probably the life stone that he mentioned in his journal. Oh, and it seems we can follow him. Or actually, we can go where he came from. Oh, that, well, that's just the way back up. And we're in some kind of chamber. It looks like there was water in this chamber. The algae on the, the wall. And I guess that this is where the lifestone was being kept. Yep. And why would Akinar steal the Lifestone if it's so important to Serenia and he's actually not evil anymore as he claims he is? Well, I guess the reason is that he said that removing the Lifestone would remove the ability of the, the fungus to do its job therefore ruin their plans for Atrus. So now, removing the Lifestone 
might uh, prevent Cyrus from doing what it is he wants to do with Yisha. Um, can move this thing. Ah, and that seems to redirect the light towards the pillar where the lifestone was. There's actually two ways out of here. We can climb back up the uh, the way we came, or we can use that ladder. But we'll uh, have to do that in the next video.